All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I want to talk a little bit about this whole uh, deal that went down with Paul Ellering um, at the NXT Arena, you know, Full Sail University, whatever it is, in Orlando. Um, I didn't see this uh, thing. I just read about it, and supposedly from what I read, Paul Ellering uh, came out there, and a bunch of the NXT fans were chanting at him, Who are you? Who are you? Um, wow. I was completely taken back by this because I always thought the NXT fans were the um, really smart, hardcore uh, wrestling fans, you know, especially the ones that go to the live shows there at the NXT arena. I was like, wow, these are the smart wrestling fans. These are the, the, the guys who know every wrestler in New Japan and on the indie scene. And then Paul Ellering, one of the greatest managers in the history of wrestling, WWE Hall of Famer comes out there and people chant who are you who are you i i, I couldn't believe it i i just i'm in disbelief how uh and that's okay if you don't know every single old wrestler i mean a lot of you guys are new to the game you know and haven't been watching this stuff your whole life maybe you won't watch in five ten years and this is all you know is the new guys but man there's such a vast world of uh wrestlers who have already come and gone who have made such an indelible mark in uh, the great sport of wrestling pro wrestling and it's just it's a shame that the uh, younger audience today just doesn't have a clue about any wrestler pre-2005 or care about any wrestler pre-2005 i have to tell you guys you know i've been watching this stuff since the mid 80s and there was a lot of great wrestling in the mid 80s um in the early 90s and it's really a travesty that the fan base today just doesn't know these guys or want to care about these guys because I can tell you what you guys see on TV today wrestling 20 25 years ago uh, blows the stuff away it, it really does what I saw coming up as a kid was a million times better than anything that they're putting on Raw Smackdown TNA any of it and it's a real shame about this whole Paul Ellering situation that people are chanting who are you is it's a real shame that these retired wrestlers uh, are basically just pretty much forgotten you know, I mean, I bet you can go to a newer fan and ask him about Ric Flair, and what are they going to say? Oh, he's the guy who comes out with Charlotte. And it's just like, oh my god, dude. Especially here on YouTube, man. If it ain't Sami Zayn, if it ain't Kevin Owens, <laughs> if it ain't an NXT guy, it's like, fuck, dude. It was like when I was in Dallas, I was, I was spending a lot of time with guys who were way into the independent scene and uh, way into the NXT scene, and... Um, ROH and stuff like that is I don't think one discussion came came up about one old wrestler the whole time I was there and I was like this is crazy that the younger fan base doesn't remember these guys so much wrestling history it's it's honestly a shame that the older wrestlers and managers just aren't remembered by the fans uh, you guys have missed out on a lifetime of good wrestling and good stuff I'm Gemini thank you go ahead dislike the fucking video you know do what you gotta do, you know. You, I'm about ready to turn the fucking dislike button off for all the morons on here. Gemini, peace.